What if I told you that everything you know, every star in the sky, every planet orbiting in the vastness of space, and even you could be part of someone's imagination? No, this isn't the plot of a sci-fi movie. It's a theory that some of the greatest minds in science and philosophy have flirted with. Imagine the entire universe existing as a neural pattern, a cosmic thought within an entity so incomprehensibly massive that it dwarfs our understanding of reality. We're not just talking about abstract ideas. Scientists have discovered astonishing parallels between the structure of the cosmos and the human brain. The delicate web-like filaments connecting galaxies mimic the neural pathways in your head. The universe, it seems, isn't just vast and chaotic, it's organized. But could it be organized enough to think? Could it be alive? And if so, does it know we're here? So, buckle up as well, are going to address the unthinkable. What if we are just thoughts in a brain much larger than we could ever imagine? We'll also unravel the enigma of a thinking universe of reality that may not be as far-fetched as you think. Let's start with an eerie observation. Scientists have noticed something curious. The universe and the human brain share astonishing similarities. Think about it. Both are vast networks of interconnected nodes neurons in the brain and galaxies in the universe. A study in Nature's scientific reports found that the distribution of matter in the universe and the structure of the brain's neural networks have strikingly similar patterns. The density fluctuations of the cosmic web mirror the electrical activity of the brain. While one operates at the scale of trillions of kilometers and the other in millimeters, they both share a fractal-like complexity. Here's where it gets even weirder. The brain contains about 86 billion neurons, while the observable universe has roughly 200 billion galaxies. Both numbers are mind-boggling, yet eerily comparable. And it's not just the numbers. Both systems transmit and process information through vast networks of connections. In the brain, neurons exchange electrical signals. In the universe, galaxies and stars emit light, gravitational waves, and other signals. Could these signals be the thoughts of the universe? Before you dismiss it as science fiction, Physicist Sabine Hossenfelder has pointed out that the universe's structure and connectivity make it worth asking whether it could think on some cosmic level. The idea that the universe is alive isn't new. Ancient Greek philosopher Anaxagoras proposed a concept called nous, a guiding intelligence that organizes the cosmos. While modern science has moved past such mystical explanations, the parallels between the universe and living systems are hard to ignore. Even the concept of panpsychism, where consciousness is seen as a fundamental property of all matter, aligns with this. According to this idea, everything from a single atom to the universe itself could possess some form of consciousness. If you're wondering whether your coffee mug has feelings, well, maybe don't start whispering sweet nothings to it just yet. Let's zoom out and look at the universe's structure. Galaxies are grouped into clusters, connected by massive filaments of dark matter. These filaments form a web-like structure with vast voids in between. Now, compare this to the brain's neurons, which also form clusters connected by axons. The resemblance is striking. Astrophysicists Franco Vazza and neuroscientist Alberto Filetti conducted a fascinating study comparing the cosmic web and the brain's connectome, the map of neural connections. Their conclusion? Despite the enormous difference in scale, the two systems exhibit nearly identical levels of complexity and organization. Here's the million-dollar question. Does structural similarity imply the universe can think? Not necessarily. The brain's ability to think comes from the rapid exchange of signals between neurons. For the universe to think, 
it would need its own kind of neuronal signaling. But there's a catch. Signals in the universe travel at the speed of light. For a thought to move from one galaxy to another, it could take billions of years. Not exactly the kind of processing speed you'd want in a cosmic brain. However, some scientists speculate that quantum entanglement, where particles are instantaneously connected, regardless of distance, might allow for faster signaling. If true, the universe could have hidden portals connecting distant regions, allowing for some form of cosmic information exchange. Here's a real brain teaser. Scientists have observed galaxies millions of light years apart moving in synchronized ways. This phenomenon, known as coherent galaxy rotation, defies conventional explanations like gravity. Some even speculate these movements could be evidence of non-local connections, hinting at a deeper level of organization in the universe. In 2014, the European Southern Observatory reported strange alignments in the rotations of supermassive black holes across vast distances. Coincidence? Maybe. But if these observations hold up, they could point to a kind of communication across the cosmos. Let's take a step back. To understand if the universe could be conscious, we first need to define consciousness a task that has stumped philosophers and scientists for centuries. Consciousness is typically described as the state of being aware of and able to think about one's surroundings. It's easy to attribute consciousness to humans, harder for animals, and downright controversial for inanimate objects. But what if consciousness exists on a spectrum, with humans at one end and the entire universe at the other? Some researchers believe that consciousness might be a quantum phenomenon. Theoretical physicist Roger Penrose has suggested that quantum processes in microtubules, tiny structures within neurons, might be the basis of consciousness. If quantum effects play a role in our brains, could they also be at work in the universe? Quantum entanglement, for instance, shows how particles can be inexplicably connected across vast distances. Could this phenomenon underpin a kind of universal consciousness? While we're far from proving it, the possibility is tantalizing. Now for the ultimate mind-bender, what if our entire universe is just a neuron in a larger brain? It's a concept popularized by the late physicist John Wheeler, who famously said, we are participators in a self-observing universe. Imagine a being so vast that its brain encompasses our entire universe. For this being, billions of years in our time might pass in the blink of an eye. Every black hole, every galaxy, every supernova could be part of its thought process. It's a humbling and slightly terrifying idea. If the universe is conscious, what does that make us? Are we tiny neurons in a cosmic brain playing our part in some grand thought process? Or are we just accidental byproducts of a vast, unconscious machine? Either way, this perspective changes how we see ourselves. It reminds us that we're part of something far greater than we can imagine, whether it's a thinking universe or just an unimaginably vast one. At the end of the day, the idea of a conscious universe straddles the line between science and philosophy. It's an intriguing concept, but one that's currently impossible to test. As Sabine Hassenfelder puts it, it's consistent with our understanding of the universe, but it's not science yet. So, while we wait for science to catch up, let's keep asking the big questions. After all, isn't that what consciousness, whether ours or the universe's, is all about? The next time you look up at the night sky, remember this. You might be staring into the brain of a cosmic being, or even the brain you're inside of. Either way, it's a universe worth exploring. If you enjoyed this journey, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share this video with fellow space enthusiasts. Your support helps us continue exploring the wonders of the universe. 
be sure to subscribe to Spacified and hit that bell icon so you never miss an update on our latest discoveries. Dive deeper into the mysteries of space by checking out our other videos and let's keep the adventure going on together.